Hey everyone, it's Roman Kozak here with a very exciting tutorial. This one is on Visual Basics. In today's episode, we'll be looking at Visual Basics and I'll be giving you a brief overview of what it is and how to use many of its awesome features. So to start, just open it up. And um, when you start a new project, you go to File, New Project. And then um, today we'll be creating a Windows Forms application. And same for most of the time, I've never um, created anything else other than a Windows Forms application. So we can uh, just rename this to Introduction. And, gen and then just click OK. So as you can see here, you have your main work area. And this is where you can add all your elements. For example, your progress bars, your web browsers, your text boxes, your buttons. Here we have our properties where you can edit all those. Uh, for example, change the text on a button, the color, and all the styling. Um, up here we have the um, all the files in the application. So this is where you can find um, all your subfiles, everything that is needed to run the application f uh, smoothly. And just uh, taking a look over here, um, once again, you can see that there are a lot of different elements you can just drag in to use. Uh, we'll cover that in a sec. Up here, uh, you click Start to run your application, and then it will run your application and build it. Once you're finished, you can click Build and then um, build your uh, whole application right here. You can upload it online or show it to your friends. Um, here um, is where you'd create a new project, uh, you'd save the actual project you started, and everything else like that that you'd see in any other program. So we're going to start off by dragging in a couple buttons um, like that, and we're just going to rename this. So to rename it, you go into your properties, and we'll rename this to Submit. And then uh, this will just rename to Click me. And we're also going to drag in a text box. And I am just going to resize the window um, a bit smaller because we don't need all that space. Now, what I'm thinking of creating is if you enter in a certain name here um, and clicks, if you enter in a certain name here, um, a pop-up will saying will say congratulations or hello world or something like that. And when you just click me like that, a pop-up will say hello world too or something. Uh, so to start, double click on the text box and you can type if text box one dot text equals. So it just saying if the text inside the text box equals uh, Roman, then message box, and then we want to display the uh, message inside the message box, which will be hello. Spell hello wrong. How can you spell hello wrong? Hello world. So, um, if the text box inside the text box equals Roman, then message box display hello world. So let's go try that out. Um, to try that out, you just click start. And if we type in Roman, a message box did come up that said hello. So um, that works. Uh, you can see how easy that was. Now let's just go on and add some more features. I forgot to tell you at the beginning, if you want to rename your application, you can just click that and um, for example, call this my first app. And you can see that um, the name came up here. And I'm going to change this to non-sizable, so fix 3D. And this just means that once the application is run, people can't go and make this window bigger. Um, now with this submit button, what I'm going to do is double click this. And if button, what button was that? Uh, button one dot um, if button one, sorry, I have a feeling I'm doing this wrong, but just please sit with me, equals true, 
than a message box. Um, display. Hi there. Let's try that out. Okay. There were some build errors. Oh, don't enter message box one. My bad. Okay, so now you can rebuild that. And if you submit there, it says hi there. And if you type in Roman, it says hello world. So now that we have a fully function, a functioning useless app, um, let's go and decorate it a bit. Now to change the background color, um, just click on this. Sorry, just click on um, the window here and you can navigate to background color and change it, for example, to that ugly color. But let's just find something a bit more appealing. All right, that looks really bad. Man, color is everything. Okay, let's try that. Um, let's change the background color of the button to blue, background color of that button to blue. So as you can see, um, editing everything here was very easy. Um, we can even change the background color of that if we want to. Um, back color. And if you run it, you can still see that everything works Roman. Okay, now once you have your useless application built, you can go ahead and click, uh, sorry, you can go ahead and build the application. So I'll make it into a .exe file where you can share it online um, with all your friends or just put on a USB drive and use it later. Now click build introduction and it will say uh, build succeeded. Then you want to navigate to where you saved that. Where did I save it? My programs. Hmm. Okay. All right, just go to where you save this application and then you'll find the .exe there. Um, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll have a lot more Visual Basic tutorials up on my YouTube channel. Um, they, I promise, I'll promise you they won't be as boring as this one. Uh, we'll cover things from web browsers to media players to text editors. Um, we'll get all in depth with Visual Basics, uh, take it to its limits, and see what it will do. Um, you can also check out my Arduino tutorials on my YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.